Thank you. Okay. Um, Okay. Class. Uh, okay. The starting the recording. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to Chinese brush painting uh, landscape painting class lesson five, uh, summer summer quarter um, in uh, Alhambra, Jasmine Center. Um, today we're going to do another um, Chibashi style landscape. Um, with a loner uh, fishing, fishing person. I won't call it fisherman because it's a symbolic uh, uh, symbolic uh, spiritual kind of spiritual fishing, not uh, meant to be a, like a professional uh, uh, fisherman. So it, the, the person is a uh, the painter itself, or uh, the, a hermit kind of uh, spirit of a hermit, uh, try to escape from the daily uh, life uh, to concentrate on the spiritual peace. Uh, so uh, usually, when we do this kind of uh, um, figure painting, we we need to to draw first. Uh, Let's just say the composition, because this is a longer, longer uh, format. So we need to adjust to the uh, this more squash paper. So, but the, the proportion is uh, uh, the same. Let's just uh, analyze this. So this part is about one third, one th or less than one third. It's almost uh, yeah, like like. A, like a, yeah, a little bit less than one third. So one third, right here, yeah, a little lower here. That's that's one. And uh, how far this goes goes to right here, right? And then there's another um, corner here. And this this is a, a, a river, so it's it don't have to be very round. But there's a tendency going up, right? Uh, here. But with some some kind of zigzag, and then some like that, and the the platform. There's a a turning corner here. Okay, and as yeah, although I I mark did I, did I mark here? Yeah. <laughs> it goes too far, so it's very easy to go out of the. So this is a, how easy it is. You use a, a soft, a little charcoal. You don't need to. Uh, you cannot use eraser. So just uh, do it again. Let's just do uh, straight lines. Just control the composition. We ought to worry about the the little curves to see if we we can do that one more time. Okay, so that's uh, um, that's the platform. I think then you can just draw uh, a, a triangle and uh, with a circle or something. Um, It's too big, huh? So you can make uh, lots of mistakes just on 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 this uh, in this step. You can also just use a regular paper, a drawing paper, to do this, and then use that uh, as a template. Chi Bai Shi uh, always have a, a outlined, simplified template um, for e every painting he does. So you know, sometimes I I will bring a book with all the drafts. So basically, this figure should be like this, and then just probably this far. So, so this this what we call in, in classical Chinese uh, nine times jiu uh, xiu. It takes nine nine uh, attempts. In, you know when you draft when you do the draft to get it right. 
right, something like that. <coughs> but uh, if you don't want to, you know, have all the the the, uh, the uh, marks, you uh, you can use a piece of uh, uh, silk for a, a better dust, you know, that that kind of thing. So. Do I need to do the the the, the back? I, I usually uh, leave it open. So basically, it just needs to maybe con uh, control the the the, uh, the you know do a simple map something like that. So I will use a small brush for the detail. Remember where we start the uh, <coughs> when we talk about painting the rock, right? We we have uh, two directions. One is uh, clockwise, clockwise, and an, uh, anti-clockwise. So this is called go and le, uh, clock and high clock. But in this case, I start from the corner, and then clockwise. Anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, right? And the, the, the head, this is a, the, the hair. Uh, and there should be some kind of the ear, or something. I, I think that's omitted, it's just the corner. And then this, uh, for this uh, extended uh, arm behind the the uh, behind yeah this this should be a large slow, large uh, sl sleeve not not like a regular working class w uh, wear it's still like a scholar's robe or something like that um, okay that's about it and then oh the the bamboo kind of, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, rod, right? And so this, this goes down a little bit in, into the water, but not have to be very straight. If it, you don't want to really uh, purposely do that. It, but if you just draw that, it will have a natural uh, rhythm. Just in, uh, but that's a uh, woody or, or a bamboo, you know, hard part. This is the soft, uh, string it goes it goes into the water uh, just a little bit and th this part is a little bit more solid it gradually disappear in in the water okay I can just use this brush to finish the dress so now I'm using pushing pushing brush technique kind of and then drag or pull, and then use the 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 heel of the brush and <laughs> maximize the the width. So this gives a, a rhythm of a kind of um, with different widths. But you cannot really repeat. See, it's so hard to to do that. And then just divide the slope into several sections and here is another platform another uh, plane or how do you call this this brush definitely too small but uh, I cannot change it if you change it you would you would change the the uh, continuity I just force it, maybe use the side to, to, to make up. Okay, now um, just so add some wrinkles that goes uh, on the surface of uh, the... So this dry brushing su suggests texture, right? Texture. There's another fault, kind of. Just exhaust, just exhaust the, the brush. Whoa. Okay. 
and before it, uh, it gets dry, you can do the wash. But he probably waited to dry, I think, in this case. And I uh, just use a little water uh, and just use the remaining remaining ink to see if we can get add water uh, just add water to it but at first I just use uh, the remaining dark to do this first oh, this is already added the water so let me just add back a little so this is to be a little darker See, I try not to reload. So just add water. Just add water. Oops, I think I, I made a hole there. This brush is too small. Okay. <laughs> um, what about the, the last uh, layer, the distance? It's done with a um, larger brush with a, a little bit blue in it. So I'm going to change it to a, a larger brush. And uh, where's my ink? I forgot. Let me just use uh, ink only without color. Okay, so just add a little. This this is my first practice. I will do a, another one just to practice. So you can use a little brown in it. A little brown in this will be fine. So it should be lighter. Light it. Okay. And you can leave a little um, bits of white. You don't have to fill. Although it's called wash, but you don't really wet the whole thing. Just leave a little bit uh, brush, tra brush traces. Yeah. And then um, maybe actually this is darker than the than the uh, what's in the front. So you can you can count where it start like here like a fish head, right? And uh, so he he makes up like that. But this should be more leveled. Um, yeah, more or less because it's a, it's a leveled perspective, what we call the flat perspective uh, to depicting the uh, water scenery, like a lake. So that's it. Then you can write, a, I haven't thought about it, the, a good point, poem. But he, he said, he, he, he write on his uh, painting, it says a 300 stone uh, seal, rich man. So he, he considered he's a rich man with uh, 300 seals. <laughs> that, that's that's his uh, uh, pen name, or what do you call it? It's just the uh, style name or whatever. Okay. So um, if you use color, you can dot the the face with a little orange color. Let me see. I, I can find the. Excuse me. I'm not color. I forgot. Okay, now um, just add uh, a little, little brown, maybe a little red yellow, very light. Okay, just dot the face. Okay, 
and the, the, ha the hand a little bit. And so and you can use the remaining, remaining uh, brown, maybe diluted a little bit, just to add a little warm to the ink. So the ink uh, and the uh, color blend each other. This could be a little bit also, just like that. And uh, the last layer should be a little bit blue. Maybe just use a little blue, very light blue. And just wash, just a little hue, that's it. Okay, and uh, to sign, I think I didn't really have a good uh, title. Um, I think in the article we, we talked about the, the uh, symbolism. Usually the, the, it's a snow, uh, like a winter. Duo Hanjiang, it's a, uh, like a lonely fisherman on a cold river. Cold, cold river. This doesn't look very cold, right? So we not sure if it's the the snow or not. I'll I'll just leave it until I I I do some maybe uh, Google <laughs> to find a, a good uh, title. <laughs> Why you you here? Uh, should we do another one it's just to complete the uh, the study? So let me let me do this again because I want to uh, show you a uh, another maybe just to repeat this to see if I can do that. So. <coughs> The position, not in the middle, not in the, um, not too high, very very low. Keep it low, okay. So, the, so until you almost see, really in in your mind, in your in your mind, what's on the picture on the paper, almost you can see it. And then you, uh, you can you also have to adjust the situation like a smearing or some accident. This paper is extremely um, absorbent because I removed the size, I mean anything with a, a detergent, the detergent paper I used. It's a rice paper, I used the detergent to kind of bleach Extremely absorbent, sensitive, I say. You know, when I pen this, I don't, I don't really open my eyes. I squint my eyes. I just want to paint my mind image. I don't wear glass either today. So, just to paint the. The mind image, not details, but the impression of that. Okay. It's a little bit squarish, always, you know, at the corner, so maybe that's a good idea. Um, so to the, the poor.
to that. Yeah, you cannot really hesitate to do that. Okay, now we change the brush. Make sure we have the right brush to do the larger element. So I just use pure dark on the tip, but on the bottom of the brush is still water, right? Okay. Let's start from the let's start from the corner here. So make sure you have enough space. Let's do this. I I'm more concerned with the parallels or the triangles, those kind of things that just treat it as abstract painting, you know. Try to avoid some obvious tangent or things like that. Um, if you have a complete image in your mind, uh, the chi completes even you know without the brush stroke. So you paint the the wholeness of it. And, you know, even the brush is broken, uh, the chi continues. So I. I have a, I don't have this bank, so just see if we can make that. So some of them are inner contours, some are textures. I'll just kind of, uh, do a little bit uh, scampering or uh, dry brush. Okay, now the it's right here, pushing the brush. He paint very slowly with the dry brush. Okay. This paper is extremely sensitive because I treat it with a laundry detergent. Then I mount it to make it flat. Yeah. Breaking a broken ink a little bit. <coughs> oh, it's too dark. Going with a, a boneless, no, no, no outline. Just nice like that. Okay. Uh, here it's the warm. Too brown. That should be in the face of the figure. OK. 
it now. Clean the brush. Just do the dot uh, on this hand here. Just draw it, I think it will be fine. Keep it easy. Very light. Let it be. You, you, yeah, you dot a little smaller than you expect. So you, uh, just use the remaining brown on, the, on this. Let it bleed into each other. So I think there's no color on this. Maybe a little bit. Very subtle. Alright. And uh, I still thinking what to, to write. Any any suggestions? Four Okay, this this hand is like a like a bandit like this, right? So, yeah. So uh, he he's not care about what fish to ca catch. There's no um, fish around or in that container, what you call this uh, little basket, or, you know, things like that. Um, so it's a, it's a pure um, s spiritual uh, metaphor or, or uh, analogy to uh, seek peace, uh, forgetting, you know, the troubles behind, uh, concentrate on the action of uh, fishing. Um, instead of fishing for fame and uh, money, uh, fishing for peace, for inner peace. That's the idea. So let me see if I can do a quick find search. Um, I should have done this. Uh, Really, because of the com the convenience of Google or artificial intelligence, you know, if if I use uh, AI, uh, if you write something, uh, I can just write uh, ask AI to write a poem, and he he will do that. Interesting. Huh? Let's just put a uh, AI on the test. AI dot com. That's ChatGPT, right? AI dot com. Okay. Unleash the universe. What's that? That's different. I forgot. What's the? It should be OpenAI. It should, used to be AI dot com. Oops. I think it, uh, it it's changed. Okay, create a scene. Mm -hmm. Where's Lucky? I think I got lost. Anyway, I have to use my own AI here. <laughs> um, let me just uh, say, 